We've seen many moose signs, at least a half a dozen or more, and uh, haven't seen one, nothing. No moose whatever, not a meese nor a moose anywhere. We've seen four bears though, but gone is the pavement and now we're on to gravel, I think for 85 kilometers to Cartwright. First up, a regular geocache, a one and a half, one and a half, apparently easy, you can walk right up to it. Eh, I'm not too sure about that, but we'll see. Uh, wish us luck as we brave the bugs to see if we can get this cache. And we're ready, and yes, this is necessary. <laughs> ready? Yep. Wrap the duct tape. <laughs> so I think this might be it. That's it. It's not where I would have put it, but it's there. Ooh. It's got a bit of water. <laughs> but the log sheet's dry. That's good. Sal and Pal, we've seen their name on a few log sheets. Yep, G C Y W T Z. It seems like uh, in an area you get to used to seeing a name of someone from the area and they put out quite a few of the ones that we found, well, what we could find. <laughs> Off to Cartwright. This is what the Trans Labrador Highway used to be like, hundreds of kilometers of gravel. But uh, we can now report that the entire way from St. Mary's at least, all the way to the Quebec border is fully paved. So no more uh, wild adventures down gravel. So we've kind of missed out on a little bit of that. We've had friends that have visited here years ago and have had to contend with the gravel and uh, they have some very interesting stories of uh, mayhem and dangerous times, but that's all in the past. little town. Right now we're gonna boil up some water for coffee and tea. Then we're gonna go look for the only geocache near the town and then head back towards Churchill Falls. just wanted to dip her toes in the ocean. <laughs> Great little spot to go camping, but we're not here to go camping, we're here to find a cache. That's right, let's go find it. Found it. plastic is now is breaking down now so it's pretty brittle but what we're gonna do is uh, it's the onus is on the cash owner to do their own maintenance but I'm just gonna take all of this and we're gonna throw it away 
and we have a large plastic bag just like this one. I'll put this container that we put a new log sheet in the bag and then we'll just put it back together and then we'll say we did that but hopefully the CEO will be able to come out and take care of themselves. Until then we'll just get rid of this mess because it's pretty disgusting. And I've signed our names and we're good to go. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty gross. Yeah, it's not much recoverable in there. Yeah, we were able to save the water gun from the cash bag, and we've added a cash can and a pen, a cash can and a pin, uh, a GCNW network pin, some decals, and a cash can and a card with a missing question mark. And I know I'm going to catch heck for doing this, but we're going to help maintain this geocache. But it is the CO's responsibility to maintain their own cache. According to the title of this cache, we've got 92 kilometers to go to the Goose. Goose Bay, that is. Right. Let's go get that cache. Oh, I hope there's no bear because I didn't bring my bear. Six meters. A big block of wood there. We might have stepped over it. It looks like there's something under this rock. Well, it's not a peanut butter jar anymore. Start the day with Nutella. <laughs> I guess that could kind of be considered peanut butter. Not really in my books, but it's hazelnut butter. It's a container, and it contains. A log sheet. That was a good hiding spot. And it's funny, I think a lot of time what we do is we will go into an area to go find the cache and we'll actually either step over it and go past it or just walk right by it. And then when you just turn around, there it is. <laughs> 